Drumsticks. This is what we're going to laser engrave today. So I already know in a previous video that we can do laser engraving this way. Now, what we need to understand is not just limitation from left and right, you can also do up and down. Notice there's a slot back there. I can put this exactly like this, line that up exactly how I want it. Either left or right. And then you can just turn your text 90 degrees and you can put whatever you want on this drumstick. So we're going to do that today. We're going to lay there and gray a drumstick. And I'm going to put Laser by Jake on there just for kicks and giggles. I would probably, I'm not sure if I want to put it at the base here or if I want to do it in the center. We're just going to put it right about right there. I'm just going to put Laser by Jake. So, there's enough room back there that it's not touching anything that's going to be harmful for the laser engraver. So, even though as they say that this table is limited to, I believe it's 8 inches here, it's like 8.5 inches here, and 13 or 14 inches wide, you also still can do oblong parts like this. And of course you're not going to be able to put anything down here at the tip here. You hit symbols and whatnot. So you want to put it down further. You don't want to do it too much where the hand is. So I'm going to shoot for right about here would make sense for me. Or up here. And we can mark that on this foam board. Take the drumstick out line that up, put our text in, and we'll do the laser engraving on the drumstick. I'll get this set up in the next video. You'll see where I'm typing the text in it. And we will do a prototype, line this up where we want to see it on the phone board. And then once we're happy with that, I'll put the drumstick in it. And then we will have that be burning. Stay tuned. Here you see I've already got the laser by Jake typed out. And I've clicked on the text itself. And I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to have it that way. That direction. The orientation. And I can take... I'm going to make this to the far left. I'm going to increase the height the laser it says laser out layout that's what it says so let's do this to 60 and we can do this by 60 because this is not a big area okay so my text just appeared we're just going to do line text I'm going to go through that again. Go up here to text. Go to line text. I'm going to just type in laser. I'm going to do it like this. Laser by J. And then we're going to draw out the text like that. And I'm going to grab that green. I want to make sure that the lines are straight up and down. Otherwise, you can see how it can be crooked and whatnot. So it looks like it's pretty straight up and down. And I'm going to have it come over here to the far left. So, we are already ready to position this in an area that we need to do. Let's 
see what it does here. Let's see where that's lined up at. See, that's not too bad. That little location there. I'm going to offset it to the left some. Because it always brings, when you offset it, it always brings it over to the right a hair and then down. So we're going to take and go ahead and I'm going to tell it starting. And I'm going to see where exactly it starts. Probably should have made that font a little bit bigger. You can see that it font can be as small as you want it to be. Yeah. Until I stop. It's almost done anyway. And you can kind of make out what it says, Laser by Jake, but you can't really see it in the camera. That's funny. So, let's make the uh, font bigger. There we go. I like that. You can always make it a little bit longer. Now let's try it. See where it's at. Okay. So we can fine tune it. Tell it's starting. I think that's still just a hair small. You can make that a little bit bigger. And while the machine's running, you can do that. So I'm just going to slide it over. This is what it kind of will look like on your drumstick. You're not limited to text. If you wanted to do a decorative, whatever kind of piece you want on it, you, know, you can do stuff like that. I just do things basic so I can learn how I'm doing it as I'm going through it and demonstrating it to you at the same time. I don't think there's anything, anybody that goes through. There's some guys out there in, on the YouTube channel, and they do have some stuff, but they don't go through like different products and stuff like that, hammers and drumsticks and little plaques like this, and, and demonstrate what you can do with it. It's just not just limited to one thing. So you can get drumsticks anywhere, pretty much. I think you, I've seen them at Walmart before. I'm going to tell this to reset. So it will get that out of my way. And now the drumstick is going to be sitting right there. That probably wasn't a bad size font. So I probably could have gotten away with that. But let's try this and see what it does. I 
guess I gotta tell it to start. And of course my lineup is not always where I shouldn't have it. But you can rotate the drumstick when it's in the right location, so that's fine. So if you're a drummer and you have a band that you're into, and you want to put your custom name or logo onto this, cheap and easy way of doing it and the thing about drumsticks about the laser engraving it's not a sticker it's not a vinyl thing it's etched into the wood it's going to be there until you break the, this drumstick itself or you get rid of it you know it's there for permanent Check that out. And it's embossed into the wood, so that means it's sunk into the wood. I can feel it like I would do, you know, the, the rim shots here. It's etched into the wood. You can make fonts bigger or longer or whatnot. Just testing this out. That's pretty cool. And it seems like it'd be in the right location. I'm normally a right handed, leaded person, so. Put your band name logo here. You can put it in reverse direction with this is. You can always have your left stick like this and your right stick like that. You can always see the, the drummer's name or the band name. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions from the videos that I can try next, uh, drumstick is something, and drumming is something I've had interest since I was little thought that would be an interesting video to make. Leave me comments, suggestions, questions in the section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.